What's going on people? I'm going to try not to be long with this video, but I had to make this video. And this video is going to upset quite a few white dudes. There's some white dudes that's going to be upset about this video. Along with some black females that's going to be offended by this video. But this image that you see is one of the biggest nightmares that a white dude could ever have especially if he is married now what inspired this video what inspired this video was a comment that was made to a white dude when he commented on the video I made that white women were the new black women and he like many other white dudes are under some type of delusion to believe that his woman, his white woman, is pure and she is devoted and dedicated to him. Now in many cases that is true because you find that there are white men and white women that are still marrying and that are still producing children. But many of those unions are there because of financial means. It's not out of love. It's out of the fact that financially he provides for her. But when it comes to protecting her. Now, I'm not saying that all white men are weak, but I'm going by what I've heard white women say and what I've seen. I've seen situations where a white couple was coming from a party and this other white dude was punking her husband and he refused to fight back. He was afraid to fight back. And then she had to come to his rescue to help him fight off his enemy. But you can see in her that she was ashamed to be with him. She stuck by him, but she was ashamed to be with him because of the fact that he could not protect her. He could not protect her while this other man was catcalling to her, whistling at her, trying to provoke, provoke him to fight. But instead, he kept walking, leaving his woman behind. Now, there are white dudes out there that can throw. But in many cases, you have white females that don't feel safe or protected with their husband, especially when it comes up against a black man. Now, I'm gonna read a small portion of what this dude wrote to show the type of delusion that he and many other white dudes have. And you can go back and read that comment in its entirety on that white women are the new black women. And I'll put that link on the bottom and you guys can check that out for yourself. He says, I also don't really see that many white women with black men and white women with men from other races. So he's saying that white women are more committed to her own race than to go outside her race. He said, I would mostly see white men with Asian, Latina, and specific, uh, Pacific Islander women, especially Asian women. The reason why many people think that most white women are with black men and most white women prefer black men is because of Hollywood, the propagandas, and the American media. This is what he says, and I'm gonna stop right there. Now, he gave a percentage, and I and I made mention of this in the past that I really 
don't believe in statistics because I think statistics are rigged and they're one-sided and that's another way that white men um, use to protect their image with statistics because people would read statistics and say see uh, is only 5% and he says there's only 5% of interracial relationships between black men and white women only 5% and he's not considering the fact that blacks make up only I believe it's 27.7% if I'm not mistaken let me check yeah 12.7% of the population and whites uh, are the majority okay so if you are familiar with the bell-shaped curve even if he said let's just take his five percent that's not really a small number when you consider the population or the numbers between both races of people especially if blacks only make up 12.7 percent right so in 2050, they're predicting that the average American would be biracial. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's black and white, but the average American in 2050 would be biracial, which means that white women are mating with men of other races. And even in relationships and marriages, when you have a white woman married to a white man, like I said, in many cases, they're there for the financial means, but she's either tipping out on him and you'd be surprised at the number of white women that have cheated on her husband with a black man on the side. And he would never know about it unless of course, a baby pops up or she may fantasize white women that have never been with a black man may even just fantasize about that black man right so when you're making love to your wife when a white dude is making love to his white wife and it appears that you putting in the work and she's really enjoying herself keep in mind that she could just be fantasizing about a black man that she saw at work or she saw in the supermarket or at the gas station she's seen him somewhere or maybe even on television she might have seen a black man that she was attracted to and then she start fantasizing because she don't feel that you are satisfying her in bed. And I've spoken to white chicks before. They have said that the husband was not satisfying her. Now, when I was overseas in Germany, you can't even count the number of black men that hook up with those German women. German women love black men. They're puzzled, they're curious about that dark chocolate skin. And there's women, white women that have even said on Facebook that they love to see their white skin against that black man's skin. They love to see that black and white or black and brown image or that white and brown image of a white a white woman under a black man or the black man under the white woman and like I said this is one of the biggest nightmares that a white dude can have I remember talking to this one female this one white chick and her she cheated on her husband with a black dude and so they end up working things out you know because you have you know white dudes just like that they will work things out with their wife or their girl you know because they love her 
right? And so she decided to work things out with him because financially he was stable, right? And so she decided to work things out and she said that the marriage, after she was with that black man, her marriage started going downhill because his insecurities kicked in. And he kept asking her if the black man was bigger than he was. And was the black man better than he was in bed? And she was trying not to hurt his feelings, but he kept asking. And he became so insecure that it tore their marriage apart. He could not even continue living or even looking at her knowing that she was with a black man. All he could imagine was this black man going up inside her and she's enjoying it much better than she enjoyed it with him. So a lot of white dudes, a lot of y'all white dudes, y'all got to come down off that high horse, man. Because you think you got your woman in the pocket, man, and you don't realize that she's fantasizing. There's many times that I was in Walmart or Target or in some type of supermarket or just walking through Midtown Manhattan and a white chick can be with her husband and she's got her children and she looks, she cuts her eye over at me and gives me, gives me that smile. They give that underhand smile that only you can see that only the guy that she's looking at can see. And her husband is in, in a la la land and he's just thinking I'm happy. You know, I got my wife and I love my wife and, and she's happy, but she's looking elsewhere. So a lot of you white dudes have to stop being so delusional, man, thinking that your white woman don't want no one else but you. And that's not true. The only thing that she wants from you is those finances. Because a lot of y'all are judges, lawyers, law enforcement, you have good jobs. So naturally she wanna be financially secured. So she can be financially secured with you and have her toy, her brown toy, her chocolate toy on the side. And I'm not talking about a sex toy. I'm not talking about a dildo or a vibrator. I'm talking about that black man on the side. And trust me, white women play the same game that you white men play. You know those games that when you got a chick on the side, you call your wife and you tell her, honey, I have to work late. I'm going to be at the office late. So now that she's in corporate America, she's now playing the same game that you're playing. So she'll end up at a, at a luncheon or dinner date with her lover and you thinking it's her co-workers she's just hanging out with the girls but she's got her chocolate dream on the side so I'm gonna put the link to that video on the bottom and you can check out the comments but like I said there's some white dudes that's not gonna like this video you're gonna be offended by it it's gonna make you angry but it's the truth. The truth shall make you free. And this is an image that many white dudes hate to imagine. They hate to imagine this scene right here, their woman being satisfied by a black man in ways that you were not able to satisfy her. Our rhythm is completely and totally different. So I'm going to put the link on the bottom, subscribe, share the video, feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.